What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Tara J, back again with another one. And today we are talking about gas lighting, as you can see from the video. In 2020, I learned a lot about gas lighting and how people use that to control you and emotionally and mentally abuse you. So in 21, I just want to be enlightened. I want to enlighten you and let you know gas lighting is a real thing that narcissists do. So if you're watching this video, be sure to be on the lookout for the people around you that could be gaslighting the situation and making you seem like the problem. But before we get into this video, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now and subscribe to my video and to my channel and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know every time I post a video, okay? And hit the bell. I just said that right. <laughs> and give this video a big thumbs up because why not? Okay. Hey guys. So let's talk about what gaslighting is first. So as we know, or if you don't know, now you know, gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse. And if you see me looking down, it's because of course I have my laptop. I always have my laptop everywhere I go because I be needing to write stuff down. If I don't write it in my phone, no pad, I'm putting it in my laptop, no pad. So here it is for you guys, okay? <laughs> so again, like I said, gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse. It makes you doubt reality of another person and it just makes you very confused. You're unsure of yourself and you're unsure of what the next person is going to do because of the person in control of your mental and your emotional, your emotions, they're in control of it. You allow that person to get, you allow yourself to get consumed by that person and they're able to abuse you and control every single thing that you're thinking and doing. And that is the signature move of a narcissist. So you could be in a relationship with a narcissist. You could be in a friendship with a narcissist. You could be having a narcissist as an acquaintance. Your family member could be nar a, nar a narc, okay? But yeah, guys, that is a signature move from a narcissist. It's used, basically they use this to protect themselves from the world and other people's reality. It's those people that when you think like, oh my God, this person really only sees one viewpoint in life, those are the people that gaslight the situation because they don't see any other point of views in life, knowing that it's so many different perspectives in life, right? But those people, they only see their perspective in life. And every time you go against their reality, they put a guard up and they cover it up with what? Gaslighting. So it's basically like a force. It forces them unconsciously to protect, protect themselves over anybody else. No matter if they love you, they could genuinely love you, but they always come first. Not saying that that's a bad thing, but when it's used negatively, it becomes a bad thing. So here's a few examples of someone that could be gaslighting you and the things that they possibly could say. You're too, you're too sensitive or you don't have a right to feel that way. If you watch my last video, you um seen my list of things that I'm I was saying I'm not feeling bad for feeling or having feelings. It's because I've been gaslighted a lot of my life because I am an emotional person and I am in twenty it took me to twenty twenty to realize that that's all people really do is gaslight. They don't even know it. It's very unconscious and a lot of people tend to tell me that I, I shouldn't feel the way I feel or I'm too emotional or it's not this and it's not that when in fact that it actually really is. So it's basically, it's, if someone is insisting that you act a certain way and they want you to act this way or your actions are wrong, they're gaslighting you to make you feel or not feel the way you do. It's triggering, guys. I'm just thinking about me being gaslighted. Like, I feel like I just got gaslighted like two weeks ago. And that's probably made me, this is something that makes me want to make this video because I just can't deal with it anymore. Like, people gaslight without even knowing and it makes you the problem. You're not really the problem, but you think that, okay, like, what the hell did I just say to make these people feel a certain kind of way? And you didn't do anything. They're crazy, okay? Simply, simply crazy. So... Basically, those people that saying you're too sensitive, you you don't have a right to feel that way. They're literally judging you for feeling the way you feel. They're literally telling you your feelings don't matter. They're literally saying they have a hold over your feelings and your reality that you created is something that you made up and it's not real. 
So that's something to be mindful of. And it's, it's like, it makes you question your own feelings and if your feelings are actually natural or are they wrong? When in fact, they're not wrong at all. So I never want you to think that you feel in the wrong way or you feel in the way is a problem because you have a right to your feelings because you're a human, human's feelings. And the person, the same person that's telling you not to feel this way also has feelings of their own. It makes no sense. Or here's another example of someone gaslighting you. They're telling you you're not happy when in fact they you this is maybe the happiest moment of your of your life or you may be the happiest you've ever been in your entire life. And they're like, you're not happy. You need to find happiness within you. You need to find peace. And you're looking like, dude, what are you even talking about? Like, clearly you don't even know me. But in, but if you don't have that strong impact with you, you're thinking like, oh my God, am I really not happy? Because I could have thought that I feel great inside. So that's gaslighting. So don't ever allow someone to tell you that you're not happy. If you feel that within you, let that be what it is. Like no one has the right to tell you you're not happy unless you're literally showing like you're depressed as fuck. Like, okay, clearly I'm not happy. You don't, don't let's not state the obvious. But if you're happy and like it legit shows, like my skin glowing and shit. But <laughs> but anyway, if you're happy and it legit shows, no one has the right to tell you that you're not happy and knock and knock your happiness because that's your life and you're choosing to live the way you want to live and no one can take that from you. So don't ever get it fucked up, okay? And don't, don't let un anybody else get it fucked up either because people be having you fucked up and they gotta realize that it ain't it. And that's all I'm doing all 2020, letting motherfuckers know that now nah, this is not it and you got me fucked up. <laughs> 2021. <laughs> but yeah, another example is someone telling you that you're hungry and you just ate. Like, how you gonna sit here and sit up here and tell me I'm hungry and you just saw me eat a double cheeseburger? Why am I still hungry? What, you want me to be obese? Like, why am I still hungry? I had a double cheeseburger, steak fries, steak cheese fries, chili cheese fries, a milkshake, and a cup of water. And you telling me I'm still hungry? Are you crazy? Are you nuts? That is gaslighting. Basically, a real prime example of someone gaslighting. You know for a fact that you're not hungry. You literally just ate five minutes ago before they came. Or they watched you eat. And they're sitting here like, oh, you still hungry? You hungry? And it's like... Did I tell you that I was hungry? So it's like, that's 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 gaslighting, guys. So it's like people that wants to control each and every part of your mental and your brain and your feelings and your emotions, those people are narcissists and they want to gaslight every single moment of your life to be able to stay in control of you. And that's something that you have to cut it. You have to cut that quickly and easily. It's no love loss. It's all love for sure. Definitely, I'm an advocate for loving unconditionally and giving people unconditional love. I said that two different ways, but it means the exact same thing. Y'all get it. But why does this eyelash look like this? This is blowing my mind. But anyway, those are the people that you have to really eliminate out of your life. So here's some things that, that may help you handle the situation. Literally just stop responding because in that case, you literally cannot argue with someone that gaslights because they don't even know they're gaslighting. Like, I'm not even lying. People that gaslight does not even probably know what gaslighting even means. So here's how to handle it. You either stop responding or be clear that those are your feelings and that this is what it is and this is your life. Be straight and be clear and you don't, you don't owe them an explanation. Just be clear, get straight to the point and tell them this is what it is or these are my feelings. And number three is the most important thing. You can never win with a, a gas lighter, okay? Because they do not know that. We're not gonna, I'm going to keep saying this the entire video. Most of the time, gas lighters do not know that they're gaslighting. So you cannot win. They're never going to think that they're wrong because it's, they're mentally built unconsciously to protect themselves. So here's another example of gaslighting where someone is deflecting. Deflecting mean like, oh, oh, for example, like, hey girl, like, um, let's talk about this. Like, I feel like you did, like you hurt my feelings yesterday. And oh, we, we can we talk about that tomorrow? Can we, I can't talk about this right now, I'm busy, girl, but let me tell you about this. They deflect. That's literally deflecting the topic and want to change basically changing the topic. Or or if you're in a relationship and they're like, Oh, you coming in and I'm like, Well, this is our problem, this is my problem, and I got a problem with this, and they like, you got a problem, but what about Two weeks ago when you did this and then it's like, 
we are talking about this though. So that's deflection and that's clearly another sign of gaslighting that you need to take into account. People that mostly happen in relationships when people get very defensive and they start talking about what you did versus what the topic really was about. That's deflection. And when you realize that you're being deflected, here's the nut, here's something that you can say. Okay, great, we can talk about that, but let's finish talking about this first. And then you can we can go straight into that topic, but we can talk about that topic next time we have a real life conversation or something like that. It may probably won't work, but why not try? And if it doesn't work, then just walk away. Just end the conversation because again, the main thing to remember is you cannot win with a gaslighter. So just walk away. And you say what you need to say one time and they got it. It registered. They don't want it to register. They're trying to act like it didn't register because they want to deflect and talk about something that you did or something else. But they heard you. They heard exactly what you said and let it be that and walk away for your own sanity and for your own being. Walk away. Here's something that you should not do. If a gaslighter hurts your feelings, <laughs> what you should not do is write long messages or give long speeches because they're going to throw that back at you tenfold. And guess what? They're going to maximize that one part that they hated in with your whole entire passage. They're going to point but basically they're gonna bullet point and comment on every single aspect of your um message no matter if you just poured your heart out to these people or told them how much you're how much you're hurting or how they made you feel they're not gonna hear it that's gonna go in one ear and out the other they're not even gonna read it to understand they're gonna read it to respond and that's really what gaslighters do they read it to respond that's really what most people do is listen to respond versus listen to understand. And that's very a hard task for people to do. And you know what? That's actually something that I'm still working on and I've actually developed further. I've I actually developed a lot to listen before I speak and like take it all in and let it register so I can understand it first before I respond. But I have a hard time doing it when I'm pissed. So it's very understandable. It's like a common thing that humans do, but when it comes to a gaslighter, I would say do not send them long messages because, again, they're going to maximize everything that you just said to them, but especially the piece that they hated the most. And they're going to throw it back at you tenfold and they're going to change the whole entire negative narrative to make it seem like you're the problem and you're at fault for your own feelings. And that's something that we don't want to happen because it may take you into a dark place that you don't want to be in. So let's avoid interactions or reactions to gaslighters at all costs. So another example of gaslighting is minimizing. Minimizing basically is similar to deflection. They're cutting the conversation short or they're, oh, can we talk about this? No, can we talk about it tomorrow? Or you don't even get, like I said, can we talk about it tomorrow? Oh, let's talk about it later. Or can we talk about it in 10 minutes? They're minimizing you as if what you're saying does not matter. You're not coming with something important that you really, really, really need to talk about. And they just throwing it uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Or you say something, but say something small or like something very meaningful, and it just gets pushed underneath the rug, as if it does not matter. Minimizing your feelings and your thoughts as if they it does not matter to them. That is gaslighting. So be take heed to what gaslighting is. It's so many other examples of gaslighting, but I just wanted to share these with you because I learned this in 2020 that. People gaslight every single day. And it's literally with what they say. Like, I've learned that gaslighting is a, such an unconscious thing. And they don't even know that they're gaslighting. It's like, it's very, very scary, actually. And I, at this point, it really makes me think, do I gaslight situations? Maybe. Because, again, it's an unconscious thing. So here's something that I realized. Do people know they are gaslighting? That's why I keep saying it's such an unconscious thing. And I said, for starters, some people are so unconscious of themselves, they forget what they said three days ago, let alone last night. Gaslighting is an unconscious, nat natural trait. A person who has light, um, gaslighting is a person who has mental structures to protect themselves. 
in it themselves only. It's making themselves feel entitled to minimize anything and deflect or switch out anything that you did or they said to, they did to you or they said to you. Making it seem like they had a right to say everything that they wanted to say to you and you didn't have a right to say anything or do anything. Or ha they have a right to make you feel like they never even said that or they never even felt that way or you're the one that's making it all up. When in fact that you're not stupid. Like no, no human being is naturally stupid. People might act stupid, but no. So I personally feel like gaslighting is an unconscious trait. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, just be aware that it's heavy. It's like a new, a new trend. It's an epidemic of gaslighting and it's becoming like real sad. It's real sad. And in 2021, that's something I'm really going to work on. I'm going to work on not be being a part of the gaslighting epidemic and I'm going to not be gaslighted either. So I'm going to remove myself from any situation that causes me to get gaslighted or me to get triggered in any kind of way that's gonna piss me off so yeah guys <laughs> i really hope this video helped you be sure to subscribe to my channel i will be giving you more videos like this in the new year because i want to be able to help you the best way i can and help myself so my knowledge is my knowledge and it's also yours too okay <laughs> but as you know guys i'm tarjay and that's that peace